Good morning, class. This is the vibe for the day. You're welcome. Be pumped, motherfuckers. I swear, there is nothing better than having Finnish heavy metal artists screaming lovely music to you first thing in the morning to get you geared and rocking on your day. Um, what the fuck is the name of this band? Because I, I don't know if I can pronounce it correctly. No, I just need to see the album. Uh, Tommy and Cat Liut. I don't know. This is the album. This is what it looks like. So if you're interested in the tune, there you go. It's good times. It's good times. Anyway, let's do a study because I feel like doing a study on people who need to walk the fuck away from spirituality before they get somebody hurt. Now, my, I've often talked about, like, muggles and shit on this channel while I was doing tarot. Um, but I feel as though it is much more useful for me to, like, actually point out shit people get wrong at this point. Because, you know, like, when you do tarot and you're trying to teach people about, like, shit that are witchy, um, it goes over their head and under their feet and they don't care. But this format, though, I can at least get people to understand that, you know, like, even if you don't believe in this shit, messing with it, it fucks with your head in a, in a certain way. And today we're going to look at some crazy bitch. Thank you, phone. Phone also thinks that it's a crazy bitch. Um, we are watching Oompaville's the most insane creator drama I have ever witnessed. Hence the music, because we needed something to calm us the fuck down. Let's just begin. Well, here we are again. <laughs> Disclaimer, do not bully anyone in this video. These videos are just things that I think are interesting that I would like to share with you guys. Okay, this is not an expose. This is not bullying. This is not harassment. This is something I experienced and that I learned about that I would like to see what your thoughts are. Oh, you're are. on a ship, you motherfucker. I was sitting here like, what And this one's fuck? excited. This is a big, sort of large arched eyebrow one. Interesting. Oh! Is that right? I don't know how you guys feel about spirituality, or not even really spirituality, but modern spirituality and how it how it relates to TikTok. How it relates to people on TikTok who make videos about being spiritual and healing and all this other stuff that I really don't get, but I like to consider myself an open-minded. Hold, hold on, let me go back for real quick, because I want to look at dude's, like, armor set. I want to look at dude's armor set. Arched eyebrow one. Interesting. Oh, is that right? I don't know how you guys feel about spirituality or not even really spirituality, but modern spirituality and how it how it relates to Yes, okay. And Hans. Let's see. Cash back off. Bigger. There we go. How how nasty does that look? Oh, that's almost perfect. That is just about perfect. You just really can't see me. I'm too dark. But it's still, it's, it's, it's you guys can see it very well. Oh, God. Okay. So we have, um, I wish it wouldn't highlight with the mouse, but that's okay. We got bad luck, curse, and hex remover he energy healing. I want to think that that's, um, that might just be lapis lazuli that, uh, make that that makeshift sharks tooth he's got right there because we can't harm the animals just the planet because the planet isn't a living creature right um i don't want to assume that amethyst he's holding is glass But I am almost 100% certain I see a cluster of dye as well as um, air pockets. Could be wrong, though. It's not the best quality video. He looks like a much more mature Quasimodo if he didn't have the hump, which is good because Quasimodo is, is a decent person. Like, technically, it wasn't even his fault. It was the fucking church is what it was. That goddamn bastard. Mmm, lots of bracelets, lots of those little bead bracelets. Which, by the way, if you're ever curious about crystals made of plastic like this, but your sister's right there, 
take a lighter and, and, and see if it burns or leaves black marks or melts. The melting is a really good sign that it might be plastic, but you know. But yeah, that's what this dude's got going on here. I like the I like the little shirt in the front with all of the weird like almost indigenous things. I almost thought that that was like a fur coat, but then I realized, oh wait, no, that's his hair. Nice that he keeps his nails trimmed. Not all the way that shaman life, but you know, he, he's got to go to work on Monday, so we all understand. TikTok. How it relates to people on TikTok who make videos about being spiritual and healing and all this other stuff that I really don't get, but I like to consider myself an open-minded fellow, but not with a mind so open that my brain shall fall. This all so just so you know, he's an atheist. Takes place on TikTok. We know TikTok. TikTok is a crazy place <laughs> with crazy people, including my wife. This is my wife. Oh, that's boring. Yeah. This is my other wife. Uh, people can just post whatever they want nice. and seemingly go viral overnight in an instant. We've seen a bunch of niche groups spawn on TikTok. We've got cosplayers. We've got feud reviewers, that probably love the gurus, Freddy's. money gurus, a lot of scammers, a lot of weird stuff happens on TikTok. Yeah. And through all of this, we have seen the rise of spiritual TikTok. And I have to say, yet again, I... See, I didn't do a spiritual uh, TikTok. I went to, like, witch talk. Witch talk is totally different than spiritual TikTok. And I don't even fuck with witch talk very often. I honestly, I just stopped after the whole moon bullshit. And it was just like, oh, they keep, like, goddamn these fucking kids fucking with shit. And then I, having everybody else. Uh, I know they didn't know, but that's not a fucking excuse. When you were told, I, I, you know, I, I, it's not like you wouldn't have known if you if you didn't look it up, but you were told. That's all I want to say. You were told. You were told. You were told. It didn't even it, look, look. Look at me. Look. Look at me. Look at me. Okay. You were told. You were told. You were told. You were told. Don't, don't argue with me lest you want me to get your father. Yes, I don't know who your daddy is either, but that's beside the point. I'll find that motherfucker. Fat Man will help me too. Okay, I'm back. Also, Fat Man has decided to join because he needs a tantrum. My meaty, meaty man. Meaty, meaty man. Meaty, meaty man. Oh, man. The fattest of men. Yeah. The fattest of men. Cool, you are Fat Man. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Oh, God. Boy, your breath. I love you. Lay down. Yeah, there you go. Let's relax. Huh? Let's relax while Mom sits here and looks at us. Right? Okay. Ready? Go. I am not a part of this. I do not know what this is, so I'm going to do my best to be as respectful as I possibly can. I will still be making jokes, just to be clear, but they are jokes. My intent is not to be rude or negative or, or harsh anyone's vibe, man. It's a bit what? of a meme, right? And I'm going to, that's what I do on this channel. There are people that are a part of this massive empire and they offer advice and wisdom. They're astrologers, uh, oracles, etc. I even did a video with uh, my girlfriend and another, uh, um, what is that called? This, um, you can go check that video out. It's interesting. I try to keep as open mind as possible. Today, we will be talking to his girlfriends and this stuff, and he's just like, I guess I could lure with you. He really likes her. He really likes his girlfriend. Let me just put that out there. Like, I watched this before, and I really don't remember too much of it, but I think it's really cute that he wants to get into this more just because he likes his girlfriend, which is good because she's going to need an anchor. If she gets too far into it, the spirit's gonna fucking drag her till she grows. She will be put through some shit and all that. I'm telling you, she needs a man in a corner to, to help anchor her back to fucking reality. Because if you ain't got one, you're gonna float the fuck away. And they all float down here, just like Pennywise said. But everyone thinks that, like, he was in the sewer. And, you know, you know let, let's not get into semantics or, or, or craziness of how I view Stephen King. Which I, I just want to put on here. I think he's a shitty writer. I, I like unpopular opinion. I will, I don't enjoy Stephen King books. I didn't mind Rose Red. I like the Langoliers. The, the, the Dark Tower series was interesting. 
but I, 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 I can't get over, I, I, it's the main, it, it, it's the main, it's always in fucking main. And, we're all, and he always has religious rednecks. And it's just like, bro, like... I know you may not like them because where you're from or from where I'm from, like, some of those are my friends. Like, I know that they're like that. I really can't hold them against them, that, that against them, though, because, like, you know, I have a whole other reason for why they wouldn't like me. Like, fuck the religion part. There's a whole plethora of reasons why my neighbors would not like me, which I don't need to go into, but it's just like... I don't. I. I just. I. It, it, it's. I. Don't, I. I just don't enjoy Stephen King movies. I like. I love horror. I really do. I have tried. Like. One, I. I've tried. I've tried, and it's just some things. I just. I. I don't know. I think I like Langley just because of the, the time thing or whatever. Because time stops or whatever and whatnot. But it's just like, I just. I. I could not get into it. You lay your happy ass back down and get these pets. Quit acting like you need to leave. I and like. I literally picked him up and put him on this bed with me. It was just like you're gonna lay with me when I do these, um, watching and showing and demonstrations and stuff. We're gonna do this together. Yes, we is. Yes, we is, sir. I was sitting the other day thinking, like, when he passes away, I need to think about what kind of dog I want. And I started thinking of a dog, and then I felt super guilty because it's like, okay, my cat's not dead yet. And then I started thinking about his mortality, and then I ended up crying. And my boss was like, why are you crying? He was just like, because I'm doing my cat and I just can't die. And, like, she was just like, what the fuck is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Your cat is, like, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I just miss him. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let's get back into this. But yeah, he's a good boyfriend. He's a good boyfriend. About a TikToker. And I'm not really sure if I should say her name or not, to be honest, because I don't want you guys to go be mean to her. Her name is Keisha. <laughs> All right, and she has a very prolific channel. She has nearly a hundred thousand followers. Yeah, he won't say her name, but he just said her name. But it's also Keisha the Mystic. How do I know? It's right fucking here. He didn't blurb it out. You can see her face all over the motherfucker. Look at her making multiple videos in the same outfit. Like a weirdo. Who does that? Who does that? I do. I've done it before. Like if I'm recording multiple, if when I recorded like a bunch of readings in one day, it was all in the same day. For the most part, I was I was not trying. Yeah, no, I'm not trying to do something like that all the fucking time. When is it you want change? What is it you want to change? You want all the attention this morning, huh? I know, but yeah, that's her name. He's just a mystic. She's an oracle and an astrologer, I see. And her thing is guiding new earth leaders into embodiment of their soul mission. Now, what exactly that means, I have no idea, but I'm willing to learn. And I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't learn a lot. But I, I, I tried, though. I tried, and I'll explain. Because this goes into this crazy big drama that you guys need to see. Keisha started a bit of a cat fight with another spiritual TikToker, and things have gone from the mortal world into the astral plane. The mm. drama has transcended. Can I just say, right, how many leaders do you have before you no longer have followers? How do you lead leaders... Especially if you don't have leadership qualities. Like, you know, that, isn't that a weird question to ask? Isn't that interesting? Do you teach them? Is a teacher superior to a leader? Is a leader superior to a teacher? What's a god to a non-believer? You know, like, just little things and questions. I, I, like, I, like, I like asking this shit. And Famine likes being here with me while I ask this. Because it's very, very important. Yes, it is. Ain't it? Little fat man. Little fat man. Little fat man. Little fat man. If you want in you. God damn it, bro. Like, he's not dying anytime soon. He's actually quite healthy. But it's just like, he's old. And it's just that one thing where it's just like, it's always in the back of my mind. Like, he's over 10 years. He's, he, it, it, it's at least pat, half past. But you're going to still live a nice long life. So come here. 
bring that ass back here. Thank you. Quit being silly. It's just one of those things where I sit here and think about it. It's just like, oh my god, my child. Will you quit that? Every time I stop petting him, he wants to act like he's going to get up. But it's just him throwing a fit. And it's just like, dude... Why do you have to be as dramatic as your mother? That's ridiculous. That's so ridiculous. This is the first drama that we've covered the on this channel that exists only in the astral plane. And by God, I fucking love it. This is, I mean, it's bad, right? It's bad. I, you know, I, I'm, there's victims in this. Victims. I don't know what I'm saying, really. I like the, I like the idea of things existing in a different world mm -hmm. that we, that's not really real, but is real or something. So who is Keisha? We'll, we'll give you a little rundown here. And once again, I'm trying to be respectful. Keisha has been on TikTok since March 2nd, 2021. She's been posting for a good while, or at least that's when her oldest video came out, March 2nd, 2021. Oh, wait, 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 She's shuffling them tarot cards like a fucking Vegas to be respectful. Keisha has been on TikTok since March 2nd, 2000. Look at it. Look at it. Guiding new earth leaders into embodiment of their soul missions, which is like, what the fuck is, what, what does that mean? What the fuck, well, like, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy. There are so many people who get into the spiritual ship and like claim that, oh, people in, in positions of power, they use astrology and... They do this and they do that, and it's just like, do they? Because you know the thing about high magic and low magic is low magic is av is accessed by the average person. High magic, not so much. Only special people get into it. So if, if the higher ups do astrology, but the common person can also do astrology, what else could they be doing that? Nobody else can do. You know what I mean? This is, it, it's like access to certain things. Like when I was in the military, certain stuff. Even insults like the term clown. Fucking clown. We were saying that back in 2012, right? I get back to the United States. And eventually everyone starts using clown as an insult. In fact, when I was in the military, there was a lot of stuff that we had in the military. Like um, cat card readers. Um, e Like... Um, certain websites where like you have to change your your password over and over again so nobody can access and get a hold of your password even though that's the stupidest fucking thing ever because it's more than likely a hacker can get in to like steal your password because you're not going to remember it if you have to change it so much claimed it was a safety feature all it did was create like signature keys so that didn't help none either um Pretty soon, civilian world started doing that, but the civilian world realized it was a little dumb, but it was a little bit too late as well. A lot of things come out in certain sectors, and then, like, especially in the military, and then the civilians get a hold of it. You know, cat card readers back in the day, those were around before there were chips in uh, cards, like debit cards and credit cards, right? Those chips in the cat card readers, which is like your identification, and, um, in the military, which for some reason you have to get your ID redone so often. It was almost like a once a year thing to get your cat card redone every year, but that's beside the point. Um, those chip things were in the cat card reader or were in the cat cards. Those were, we were using those before it ever went on to civilian shit. And as soon as I saw those on a card, I was like, God damn it, I hate this shit. Like, why are we doing this shit? What's the point of putting the stripe on the back of the fucking card if I have to use, like, a, a, a fucking, a, a reader where, uh, like, hackers can create a device and if they get close to this thing or touch it, they can steal all my money just by getting, uh, just from that. Whereas they would actually need to run the stripe on the car and steal the car physically in order to do that. No, now they have a little, like, metal plate thing that could just do all the work for them and it's the most annoying thing ever it's just like the more we use technology the easier it is to access shit and people for the sake of convenience will just make that shit trending and then wonder why all their data is accessed this is like because you want it the easy way <clears throat> it's like you can get a whole brand new phone now and, it ain't, and not put anything of google on there and it doesn't matter if you still have the private commute services on. 
and never like disable it, force shut down, and then re-enable that shit after you update. Like that shit's not gonna matter. In fact, if you would disable that, I guarantee you, if your phone is older than two years, you disable that fucking app because it's a system app. You actually have to look it up, right? You disable that off a phone that's been running for two years and seems like it's lagging out. Disable it, force stop and everything, and then like re-enable it after you update your shit. Your phone's probably gonna work brand fucking new like it used to, right? And try it. See if I'm a fucking li- see if I'm a fucking liar. Like I know, like see if I'm a fucking liar. It's not like I I, I know anything about like how like it's not i don't know anything i'm just a hell jack for my stream let's get back to this but um she's at link tch, e uh keisha the mystic that's her her stuff oracle astrologer doesn't say she's a tarot reader but okay we'll 2021 she's been posting for a good while or at least that's when her oldest video came out march 2nd 2021 she's shuffling them tarot cards like a fucking vegas dealer just Gambling, gambling, gambling. Sorry, Frankie. Dude, that'd be an aw- I could do that job. I could be like a blackjack dealer. I mean, I'm shit at counting, but I can definitely shuffle cards like a motherfucker. I just need someone else to play, and and like we could, I I will make I will make the casino money because I can shuffle like a motherfucker. I swear to God. Frankie doesn't like it when I gamble. She knows I have a problem. Now, it was a hunt Aww. to find that video, to go all the way back. I mean, it took like three and a half hours of scrolling. Keisha sometimes posts five videos in a day. That is a lot of content, Keisha. Keisha has a, a link really. tree like most creators who are providing a service do. And her service is channeled guidance. I don't know exactly. Hold on. Let me tell you, like, hold on with these prices because we need to investigate this all. Y'all, can you read this all right? You can see most of it. If that's okay, you can see most of it. Now, the top one, I don't know if you can see that. It says, free path to purpose. Free in capital letters. Um, Ray K workshop on 1.10 at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Zoom. And if you don't mind AI collecting all of your data and, and, and imitating and mimicking you, go ahead and keep using Zoom. I mean, I know we're all like, uh, I, I'm going to be forced to like deal with the AI shit eventually, but go ahead and, and use Zoom. It's okay. They're in the main forefront. If you want to keep using Zoom, you go right the fuck ahead. I wouldn't use, I don't know why people still use Zoom anyway, like, it's just like, you could literally just, just get each other's phone numbers, you can, and you can just do a voice meeting that way, like, I don't understand what the, what those products are for, maybe it's because it uses too much data, maybe that's the issue, maybe it, it eats too much data and battery, just doing it flat out through the phone, but isn't that what that's made for? Mm, I don't know, anyway. Um, let's see. The first one that's offered with pricing is with a heart and an eye. And it's Purpose Blueprint Channeled Guidance plus Astrology Rating. 60 minutes at $333. Triple three is for an hour. Triple three is for an hour. Um, which... You know, it's like, if it was 33 30 or 33.99 or something, I'd be like, oh, okay, that makes sense. $333. Bitch is charging more than hairstylists at this point, you know? Like, uh, like fuck, at $120, plus you come and blow it out and your hair done up, uh-uh, no, no, I don't know any hairstylist that's charging this kind of price right here, this is a highway robbery, I don't want to hear no one bitch about that shit no more, that's fucking crazy, uh, next one is the earth with a, a sack of money, and it says money blueprint, channel guidance plus astrology reading, 60 minutes at $333, again, hmm, then we got a heart, Fire, crown, letting you know that song. Is this burning an eternal flame? You know, like that song? Like, that's what it says. It, it, it is burning an eternal flame. It's a love blueprint. Ch- channel guidance plus astrology reading. 60 minutes at $333 an hour. Then we got Keisha's Guided Soul podcast feature. 
Um, the virtual healing studio, which is seven dollars per month, which is like the only reasonably priced thing on here. Like, like you know what? I know a lot of people say no, you're worth, but a lot of people think that garbage is worth fucking hundred dollars. I'm just putting it out there. Not that I'm not saying that about her. I'm just saying in general, people will charge a hundred dollars for a rotten fucking tomato. They think they can make a buck off of it. Be like, well, you don't know it's worth. And I'm like, yes, I do. There's mold all over that, man. I'm like, why, when did you dig that out? Yesterday or last week? How long has that been sitting in your trash can? Don't even know, do you? Mm. craziness of it all really let's see she got cash app at coach kesha 8 venmo at coach kesha 8 paypal at coach kesha 8 and then free higher self meditation at the bottom my thing is what's with the 8 because i'm seeing 88 you know what i mean i'm, I'm just seeing something and it's just like eh, i don't know how i feel about this Exactly what that is, but it's a three hundred and thirty-three dollar session for sixty minutes. I think it's an Which astrology reading. Not exactly sure. You can also just give her money, uh, you know, whatever standard yeah. stuff. She's making content. This is her thing. It makes sense. Okay. There's also a virtual healing studio for seven dollars per month, which I don't really know what that is, but I can't, you know, just speaking from the perspective of uh, sort of get rich quick things. I think this is just the spiritual version of that. I can't really imagine there's a lot of value that comes out of seven dollars a month um, for that. To be honest, but maybe there is. I'm not sure. By the way, doing a, a bit of research on Keisha, there are a ton of impersonators. There are a lot mm -hmm. of people that want to be her. I don't know if they just want to get money from the guidance thing because it's three hundred and thirty-three dollars for an hour. There are a lot of people that are trying to trick others into believing that they are the real Keisha, and some of them have followers. She's a legend, apparently. So this all, which he's not wrong. There's like what, I can't remember the original uh, TikToker's name, but like this chick had her entire TikTok persona stolen by this um, tarot reader on there called Karma Bites, which she's on YouTube, too. And she stole this girl's identity, made it look like she was like this girl, and linked to all of her um, tarot shit. Being like, this, this, here's the link to my tarot channel and all this shit. This, and we're not even saying that, just making it seem like this is who she goes to. And then the girl who owned the, the actual TikTok, like, pointed it out, and Karma Bites threatened to fuck her up over it, because she got caught stealing and pretending to be someone else. It is just like... Dude, how are you going to be mad because the person you took from caught you? And then you're going to threaten them. They're not in the wrong. How are you going to threaten them to beat her ass? How about you get your ass beaten since you have the audacity to be... Like, like some motherfuckers just never had their ass knocked the fuck off of them. Someone got special treatment. But it's like, it's one of those. So he, he's not technically lying. And like, this chick is on end. She even made a diss track to the girl she stole from. Which was just like, what the fuck am I looking at here? Y'all are nuts. Craziness, really transpired last month in December of 2023 the the lion's share of the drama in regard to this whole situation in this video that caused me to raise my eyebrows like this. Keisha made a few videos about a male content creator who has been using his spiritual gifts to manipulate mm. people. These videos were reportedly deleted off TikTok. I'm not exactly sure, but they have been re Just to make it clear, it's it's not Bomar. <laughs> it's not Bomar. I promise it's not Bomar. I was sitting here the first time I looked through this. This is like, it's a Bomar. It's always Bomar for some reason. Bitches always gravitate to Bomar and then want to act surprised when he don't want them. It's, it, it, like, it, especially Taryn. Especially Taryn. She did not take that L very well. I was one of those things where she was just like, I can't believe that guy didn't fall for me. It's like, you're not that pretty, Taryn. That's why. Hey, what? I all bitch you. I don't. I don't. That's what. That's all you gotta say. I'm talking shit. Don't mind me. Uploaded as of December 28th. Part one is nearly 10 minutes long, and we'll just go through it. We'll give you the, the, the cliff what? notes. It opens with her talking about how, like we've established, a male content creator is using his spiritual gifts to manipulate people for bad. He's a oh, villain, I love her allegedly. Hair. It's but it's not only that. He's also harvesting people's energy. 
What exactly does that mean? I have no idea, but it's got my eyebrows arching pretty strongly and stuff. Keisha also then says that this male content creator targets women, which makes sense. He's a evil man. We can already tell that. Oh, By the yeah. way, he's harvesting people's energies. I think that he is primarily targeting women uh, in the spiritual community, but it, that might not be the case. And I'm being called to make this video. I don't want to make this video but I am being pushed by my spirit team to make Now, I want to go ahead and preference this as I'm clipping my nails because it's important, right? She's telling this story. She had never, ever, ever dealt with this guy. All the things that she's claiming this dude has done to her is all in her fucking head. Hence the problem I'm finding with a lot of people. Most of this shit is in your fucking head. And then you want to take your, your your spirituality out on other... Okay, you know. That, I, like, that's the point I'm trying to make. This video and to speak my truth. One, so that I can speak my truth and have my voice heard, but also so that anyone who has been harmed by this person and could potentially be harmed by this person for the future can understand what he's doing and hopefully protect themselves. She says that she doesn't want to make this video and she's being called to do it. Right. And her spirit team is pushing her to do so. Now, I think I need more lore. I think I need more context to understand exactly what that means, but I'm going to just set it out there, let it sit. That's it, the spirit team. You know, I don't know what that is. I don't think I have one of those, but by God, I ain't gonna knock someone for having a fucking team, a spirit team. That sounds awesome. About a minute in, Keisha says that the past six months, she's been psychologically, emotionally, and spiritually attacked by this man, who currently, up until this point, remains unnamed. So over the last six months, mm -hmm. I have been psychologically, emotionally, and spiritually attacked by this by person. By love! And, okay, I'm sorry. Um, We've never met physically, so this has all happened energetically and telepathically. Mm -hmm. And I know that it's him that I'm talking to telepathically because he has confirmed in the physical multiple times by repeating things that he had said to me um, in, in telepathically. So it's not that like she's aware that maybe she's psychic and I, uh, prophet or something like that, or maybe she just has an inkling for deductive reasoning and knows how things are going to go along the way if she continues on the path. Maybe her spiritual fear was trying to teach her, hey, you know, like, you can make decisions and see where things are going. Or maybe she's saying things ahead of time, like in which time. My issue is, is why is she assuming the vision she's seen is a product of someone else's behavior? You know what I mean? It's just one of those things where it's just like, hey, did you ask your spirit team if you're supposed to, like, follow this shit? Or just, did you just assume you should? Because there's a man. And he's cute. Or you think he's cute. Because that's really what I, I, I'm getting from this, honestly. Or maybe she feels threatened. You know, that's a possibility as well, to be quite honest. She could feel absolutely positively threatened why because it's another spiritualist um on tiktok and the one thing i have learned from doing like spiritual shit especially on youtube is people don't like competition even if you have nothing to do with what the fuck that they're doing they don't like competition point blank period most people are weak in regards to having somebody who does the exact same thing you do around them and would rather play in the fucking bushes than come up in the ring to actually like uh, resolve the issue with you but then act like it's your fault for taking it the wrong way or worse telling them to just fuck off because you're not playing games since they want to play you know like people like people will do and say ignorant shit and beat around the fucking bush but like, lord forbid you come out and just be absolutely honest and be like, you know what, just fuck you. Since you since you think head games are funny, um, let me see you laugh about this shit, as I like to say, you know, because because it, it's insulting to another person's intelligence, really. Um, to play head games, to sit there and act like you can like talk shit about people underhandedly and think that they're not going to hear it, even though like y'all are supposed to be cool with each other. 
You know, that's like that bitch Brie talking about West Virginia. I will never get over that because I don't know why someone like her would assume that I wouldn't go out of my way to look up the news report. Like, I, like what was it? She went on some live stream. And as I... Yeah, I'm, I'm totally like keeping these clips because that actually works really well. Um... I was, uh, she went on some live stream with two other people, and, and like, at the very beginning, she brings up, like, people being awarded AR-15s in some West Virginia radio shit or something, I can't remember, or some kind of reward, and I remember sitting there just thinking, like, why the fuck would someone in West Virginia want an AR-15 considering we hunt? You know, like, it doesn't make sense to someone who lives in a state where there are hunters everywhere, you know, an AR-15... Um, or whatever the fuck it is. Um, that's a loud fucking weapon. I don't even know if there's a silencer that would, like, silence it enough to go hunting with. Also, that kind of weapon would tear up the fucking deer, right? So then I went and looked and investigated. It turns out there was no measure of AR-15. It was hunting licenses, fishing licenses, trucks, and a, a, a limited supply of, um alcoholic beverages. I can't remember if it was for a year or something like that. But, like, a year worth of shit. That's what the people would win. No mentions about, a, like, a, a weapon, which is completely different than a fucking gun, right? Um, learn that from the military as well. But it was just one of those things where it's just like, why would the fuck are you saying underhanded shit? And then you want to come up being nice to my fucking face. You know, like, the bitch claims to be a Scorpio, right? But, like, uh, Scorpios don't tend to be that fucking messy. None to where, like, they know I like, not like that. And I have Scorpio placements. And immediately, it's just like, oh, so that's what you like doing. That's how I know you're a fucking Pisces with the Pisces move. Just from that behavior right there. Because that's, like, it's like, mm. It's just like, don't, don't play that shit with me. Because I already, uh, it was just one of those things. But, it, but it's always, like, it tends to be people like this. Who feel the need to start spiritual warfare, as, as most people will call it. Um, and then claim that everybody else is in it. Who will go and, like, try to initiate things with other people or even attacks on other people and then act surprised when their fucking crystals break against their fucking back when they find out they're not successful with what they're doing and then tries to get the internet to go after the person who they weren't able to go after before and then claims that they were attacked and people need to come get them only to for it to be found out that no you don't get to hurt somebody like that and like you will be found out and more than likely someone like me is going to end up telling people about it whether you like it or not that's just a reference but i'm just saying it's people like this bitch right here up on the screen who takes spirituality and uses it as a as, as a method to cope with whatever the fuck's going on up here because obviously there's something going on up here, but she doesn't feel as though she needs to deal with it. What she needs to do is make the internet mad at some dude who isn't attracted to her. Because that's really what this is about. This is what That's actually what this is really about. So that's a massive claim. And then after that, she also says they've never met physically. Now, I have to make it very clear that to me, this seems very absurd. I think that this is absurd. I've never felt anything spiritually, probably because I'm a uh, knuckle-dragging troglodyte, potentially. I even have this like caveman here, hair here. I've got like a bit of hair right here, and I think it's because I'm uh, I'm not very far evolved. This as well. And, the, and look at my eyebrows. I, my face is shaped like I'm meant to be punched. It literally is punched. Like it's punch shaped. So it's like you hit and then it slides off. And then my eye. I don't know why, but it makes me feel like he's saying I'm too white to be spiritual. But I, but not, but he, he's saying it without saying it. I kind of appreciate his honesty right there, but that's not necessary, sir. There are black people not even connected to the spirit all up in this shit. You're perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. Drag them knuckles. You'll still send the bonfire with the rest. Brows. Like if the sun's shining down, you know, like I have uh, very clear physical adaptations on my head that show that I am stupid. So it makes, you know, it makes sense. I figure maybe she's been like talking through Discord, texting, talking, maybe even email, something like that. No, 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 no. They're talking telepathically. This person is talking to Keisha telepathically. She knows it's Which him. Which is not at all. Because he said things 
in the physical that he has said to her telepathically, even though they've never met. So maybe it was on Discord, or maybe she's just watching his videos. I don't know what this is, but this is like maybe the basis of parasocial relationships or something along those lines. She then says that she started to see his content and have profound feelings when she watched the mm -hmm. content, and she also started to see him in her dreams. I was right. starting to see his content. Hold on a second, I need to go uh, grab my file. All right, I'm back. Fat man just left me because I wanted to file my fucking nails. Uh, let's and, go back. Real and quick, I didn't hear. have these profound feelings when she watched the content, and she also started to see him in her dreams. I was starting to see his content and have these profound feelings when I would see it, and he was showing up in my dreams a lot. And at first, I just ignored it um, because I had already been on a twin flame journey, and I just was like, no, not again. Um, but it kept happening, mm. and so I decided to explore it. I didn't know then what I know now, which is that he uses glamour magic on his content to uh, elicit certain emotions when you view it. She says she... See, you hear how dumb she says, uh, talking out loud, how that don't make sense. How the fuck would he use glamour spell on his content to get you if you hadn't watched his content yet? Because the way the story goes, she hadn't even found his shit yet. She just knew of him telepathically. Which is like, mm, yeah, sure, okay. But how did, how would Glamour Spells affect you if you hadn't watched his shit yet, is my question. Didn't know who it was, never dealt with him physically, but you knew he, he, that he had, a, 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 like, spirituality going on. But sure. Sure. Started to explore it, claiming naivete at the time because she didn't know he uses glamour magic on his content to elicit emotions from viewers. I would like to know what I am. What, am I like? Am I telepathic? Like, tell me. Does am I? Am I? Fucking, do I have glamour magic? What is this? Tell me. Give me a reading. I want to know. I'm very curious. So we are now two minutes into an exposing saga, and at this point, some would say this is delusion. And some would say that this is just something we don't understand, which I, that's what I'm going to say. I just don't get it yet. A little further on, she says she booked a session with this guy who is still unnamed. She said that she feels safe and needed a masculine energy source to create mm -hmm. a healing space for herself. Now, I don't know exactly what that means either. I'm going to be honest, but we're going to keep going. So, be that means she wanted this man to dick her down, which is the it. She wanted him to dick her down. That's the entire issue here. Um, he didn't dick her down. She wanted the. She, uh, she called him Arby's because she wanted all the meat. That's what she wanted. I don't know. I'm just trying to make it obvious for everyone to understand. He wanted, she wanted to be dicked down by Ron Perlman's Beauty and the Beast son. Hallelujah. Spiritual, spiritually guided woman that I am, I followed those nudges and I booked a session with him. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the session was very accurate. I felt like he felt like a safe um, masculine energy to me at the time. And someone with as someone with a father wound that i had been working to heal i thought it would be good to have someone who represented a safe masculine energy to create a healing space she then says that she felt as if she was guided romantically towards this person which is very odd she saw him in a dream pursued a figment of her imagination booked a session and then confirmed her delusions that's the the sort of where i'm at currently what i'm seeing but at the same time you know this this is this is not a world that's been necessarily disproved we just got to keep an open mind in their session she claims that she talked about trying to call love into her life and he responded by saying that he's sort of unsure about the relationship that he is in currently which she then finds odd the synchronicities I was receiving, the way I was receiving them, it felt like I was being guided romantically to this person. Mm -hmm. But I discovered, you know, even before booking my first session, that he was in a relationship. And so I thought, okay, well, I'll just book the session because maybe my guides just want me to receive some kind of healing from him. And so on our first session, um, you know, we're going through the session, everything's normal. I'm talking about, you know, I was trying to call love into my life, so that comes up, and I'm talking about, you know, like, what 
what I need to do to, to reach that. And he mentioned something about not being sure that he wants to be in the relationship that he's in after X amount of time, just like feeling like this isn't it. And I was like, okay, that's interesting thing. To Pause. Who said he was interested in you, bitch? I'm sorry, it might have came out of harsh, but the question um, needed to be harsh, so it, it gets to be, like, what made you think that, like, just because he said that he was interested in you? You know, like, let's be clear, you didn't know who this dude was, you found his content, or you had been watching his content and decided that he must be calling you, because he's cute. Then you decided to book a session with him. Then, and you knew he had a girlfriend before you even started a session with him. And then you're talking about, oh, I'm trying to bring love in my life. And it sounds like to me, it sounds like to me, this dude was trying to relate to you on some level. It might have, and I'm not sure if I'm 100% correct, because, you know, like, I'm assuming, and that's what's making me an asshole right now, but I'm assuming he was trying to help you to relate somewhere and be like, yeah, I've been in places where, like, you know, I'm, I've been with my girlfriend for so many years, and even I've sat here and questioned whether or not we're going to be together for a long time. But, you know, relationships take a lot of work, and, and, and like, you got to understand, love is something for working with. And all, you know, all the wonderful romantic shit people say to make love sound like it ain't bullshit, right? She is his client. She is his client coming in with the intentions of believing maybe this is a romantic person I could be with. She's not coming in on good faith at all. Let's be clear. She's coming in because she had a vision of this dude and is feeling romantic shits towards him. And totally making herself believe that this man is sending like mixed signals her way. When like the mix up is he's never once talked to her not one bit till she said something. Is what it is. So yeah. It's a problem. It, it's a problem, and it's a very girly problem. It's like, uh, it's it, it, it's almost like I'm really mad that this guy chose his girlfriend over me. You know, that's maybe it's because I'm almost forty. I must be jealous or something. Say on a call. That is odd to me. Just first, you talking to someone, uh, a spirit walker, and you just talk to him in the first session. You're candid about relationship troubles. I mean, it's not therapy. But then again, who needs therapy if you've got glamour magic? <laughs> right? Me, I need therapy. She talks about how they start developing some kind of strange telepathic uh, relationship. But once again, they've never met physically. Telepathically, energetically, they've met, but not physically. She just talks so much about how they've been communicating a lot and she hasn't named him. It's still, it's, it's confusing. Now, normally I would not entertain someone romantically who was in a relationship, but that is where this person comes in with the power of spell work and Energy. See, that's how you know this person doesn't know what the fucking goddamn thing is. Because first off, spell work is like saying chai tea. You were literally saying the same word in two different languages. You're just saying TD. Spell work is still work work. Spell work is still spell spell. He didn't have any spell work. You were just fucking weak. You knew that this man had a whole woman and you still tried to come in like a Jezebel and then like goes in and tries to get her followers to uh, harass this man because he wouldn't leave his girlfriend for this woman. That's what this really is fucking about. That's what this really is. She's saying that he's coming in with the power of spell work. No, he didn't want you as his fucking girlfriend. That's what this is. Like, uh, 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 shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut up. Energy work and shut up. overall psychological manipulation mm -hmm. to make me believe that I was developing feelings for him. Make me believe that there was some kind of destined connection through the, the way he was appearing in my dreams, through... Um, the signs that he would like project into my life and so I thought well I have to f I ha you know there are times where if you do sometimes if you there are times where sometimes the last thing you watch or the last thing you do will show up in your dreams because your brain sits there and like starts fragmenting all the data that you collected throughout the day and like it, it, it categorizes shit sometimes that comes up as dreams sometimes not so much sometimes you just sleep right through it really doesn't matter but your brain is going through and reorganizing shit right 
processing RAM because you know the human body literally is a walking talking computer and our brains are the motherboards or what the fuck ever you know what I'm talking about right so it's doing this whole defragment thing right and maybe just maybe she watched so much of this fucking dude she started dreaming about him anyone like does anybody think that that could be the case it's nice to be spiritual it's nice to be witchy but if you cannot categorize something without having a decent real life reality a s if I can sit here and explain it and it makes more sense than what you're telling me in spirit which is saying a fucking lot nine times out of ten I'm going to assume you're full of shit Nine times a day. This is a full of shit moment because she knows she he has a boy. He has a goddamn. She knows he has a girlfriend, but she's still trying to get him anyway because like whatever reason. And she just said that she just got out of some twin flame shit, aka she just ended up like not getting another woman's man because apparently that's a thing. I don't understand what it is with women trying to steal other women's men. Like, I understand that the women will be men and the men will be women. Much like Watershore Vibes said and shit, right? But, uh... Some of y'all bitches are gross. Some of y'all bitches don't need to be in relationships cause, since you don't respect anybody else's. ...to follow the calling. Then, she says that she tried to cut it off, but he manifests her and brought her back with energy work. By using, I don't know, glamour magic, potentially, uh, wizard magic, goblin magic. And this all happened right before he decided to tap into her sexual energy and then manipulate her sexual energy. You know, I kept going back and forth about him because I, I would be like, well, you have a, a girlfriend, so <laughs> we should just not, we should stop and continue once you break up. And What do you mean we should stop it? So you're just going to sit there and wait for a motherfucker girl he has Wayne. Hold on, I wasn't paying that much attention when I first watched this. You're, so this bitch is just like, we we should stop and continue once you break up. This is like, what are you, what are you talking about? Stop and restart what? Like you're imagining a whole relationship with someone who you haven't really interacted with. You've just been watching their content. Like, you, yeah, you sign up for their shit, but that's it. You probably were sitting there all up in the comments trying to be friendly and shit too. Scandalous bitch. Like, I swear, some of these women are just, ugh, I, no. No, I know there's supposed to be a supposed sisterhood here, but it's hard for me to be sisters with somebody who's doing shit like this. Because I can see right through what the fuck this is. I don't give a fuck how spiritual you are. That woman's man is not your fucking twin flame. You said that you just did this shit and got out of a twin flame scenario. Are you trying to create another one? Is that what we do? We just pick what a twin flame is all of a sudden. We just pick whoever's got a man or whoever's got a woman and decide that's going to be mine now. He's already trained. I, I don't have to do much with him. He already knows how to treat a bitch. And he looks healthy. He, he, has, long, he has hair, so I know he takes care of himself. You're going to see what this man looks like and understand why the fuck it is. I'm annoyed with it because it's just like she just wanted him. And then when she didn't get him, you know. And, he, and then, you know, he would like post pictures with his girlfriend and I'd be like, oh, well, I definitely don't want to be a part of this. Mm -hmm. And so I would try to cut it off, and then he would manifest me back, and he would do energy work on me to bring me back. During I mean, you didn't have to come back. I swear to God, like, women will not leave the table until they are full. No more, no less. Women will not leave that table until they are full. No more, no less. And at this point, this bitch was thirsty as a motherfucker. She, she wanted that place. She was nowhere close to full. She had Wendigo energy going on, I, I dare say. It's just like, what do you mean he manifested you with energy work? What the fuck is energy work exactly? Do you understand you have to put energy in all of your work? Are you sure? Was, did you even ask if it was actually him and not like a demon or something like that? Like that's really what I want to. Like, did you verify it was actually him, or did you just decide it was him out of convenience? I got so many fucking questions, and I don't feel like any of them will get answered, so I don't even know why I'm bothering.
this time, he also began tapping into my sexual energy and manipulating my sexual energy. Um, and I believe this is how he harvests the energy of the feminines that he is connecting with. At a... Also, fun fact, no one can harvest you sexually unless you have sex with them. And nobody can do that unless they, you actually physically have sex with them. That's how you you uh, exchange things on a sexual level. That's why uh, STDs are on the rise once again because everyone is like doing everything on a sexual level now. But that's but that's how that works. You can't just uh, fuck with someone sexually unless you actually have sex with them. It doesn't make any sense. If that was the case, they wouldn't need to like get in traffic jams with all the kids. If you get my drift, right? Think about what the fuck she just said. Um, that's not how you fuck with the feminine at all. You can't do sexual shit to people unless you actually had sex with them. It's not how it works. You can elicit um, arousal, flirtation. You can uh, 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 heighten sexual desires. Uh, but uh, an orgasm only works if you gave them an orgasm. They might masturbate to you, but you didn't give them an orgasm. They did that to themselves. You actually have to physically fuck somebody in order to fuck with them on, on complete stages of sexual magic. But, you know, like, 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 what do I know? I'm just a hill jack from West Virginia. Let's proceed. At some point in the repeating cycle, I got to the point where I was like, okay, I'm cutting you off and I'm not looking back. Mm -hmm. And, you know, every time I would cut him off, there would be a very hateful reaction okay where he would discard me basically criticize me uh -huh. like try to bring down my self-worth and i just couldn't believe my eyes honestly because the way this person presents themselves online i was the woman was too stunned to speak i could not believe that this was the same person ma'am he wasn't your fucking boyfriend he was never your man I, I, like yeah, who cares if he's throwing a fit or not. It's a goddamn man. Don't throw a fidge over anything if you, if you give them a reason to. They're fucking men. That's what the fuck they do best. They throw fits. I don't understand what this whole point is. Second off, why are you sitting here judging this man based on your fucking imagination? Like, did you verify that this is actually the guy or something that's like fucking fucking with you on a spiritual level? Do you, is this actually him sending you this shit? Did you verify that? Or are you just continually assuming that it's him because you're not actually using your discernment to make sure it's actually his spirit entering your house or your head or whatever it is? Actually, how the fuck did you get here without even having a conversation with this dude? You know, you're sitting there noticing pictures of him fucking uploading photos of him with his girlfriend right which you know that's that's cute he loves his girl you know he loves it but it makes you want to leave you're watching his shit and you're getting upset because he has a girlfriend Sounds like some tearing guy shit, personally, myself. Let me go get some more coffee. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. It's just... This feels like Bomar and Terran 2.0 all over again. Like, I wasn't even around for it. I just learned what happened. Except this one doesn't have, like, a whole circus full of kids that she made with other women's husbands. In case anyone didn't know that about tearing guy... Um, she actually started out in the, um, natural hair industry. I think her mother was, um, African, some Swiss and shit, but she was raised by, um, her grandmother. And Taryn, for some reason, likes making kids. She just doesn't make a good mother, that's all. She reminds me a lot of my mom, honestly, which is why I sit there and be like, oh, Taryn, you're funny, thinking that, like, you're full of people. Everyone can see what your bullshit. I, like, you know, I'm a person who don't really say much of anything. Like, I don't really need to say much. Everyone else is going to say it. I don't need to say a damn thing at all. You know, go ahead and have your fit. It'll be all right, right? But, uh, Taryn also had a habit of getting with other women's husbands and men. In fact, 
she had uh, two kids with some guy who she took from another woman who he was married to another woman and her children ended up being autistic so it's more than likely she carries the uh, autism gene i think there's only one kid that doesn't have that gene in them and that's her oldest daughter which mind you she's she has kids and at some point she ended up leaving that dude and he has the kids now uh, but she ended up leaving that guy and i think that's when she tried to get with bomar seven but Bomar loves his wife a lot more than these hoes. Like, like I forget the fact that he got hoes and shit. That's his wife. Ugh. Like, if a man gives you that title, that means that he means it. And that's the one he's going to be scared of if she asks questions. Especially if she's pissed. And I guess she tried getting him to leave his wife or whatever. I'm not entirely sure. But that's why she's kind of out in God's green earth wandering. And, and trying to figure out what the fuck she's gonna do. Not truly understanding, you know, like... We can't stay young forever. Which, you know, it's sad, because we feel like we're young. We, like, like, when do we ever feel old? Except when our bodies remind us that we are, right? But Taryn, Taryn's special, because she just refuses to age. She don't want to age, which is like, alright, go ahead, girl, but, like... Please stop having kids if you aren't going to be there to be a parent. You know, please uh, please stop. I remember her photos of when she was going whole like pro-black were interesting, though. That was interesting. That was that was an interesting time. I don't know why she went that route, but it, but it was fun to watch, I think. Anyway, let's get going with this one. But she reminds me a lot of Taryn with her craziness. Um, the only thing is, she wasn't successful in getting a man to dump his girlfriend for her. You know, like, like, apparently you can't just find a good man. You gotta steal him from another bitch or some shit. I don't know. But that's, but that's why I say that. Because this reminds me a lot of Taryn in regards to, like, Bomar. And it's just like, what the fuck, y'all? What the fuck? What are you doing? This is the harvesting that we first mentioned earlier. And then I went, <laughs> you know, because it's a crazy thing to harvest someone's anything. It's weird to harvest anything that isn't a, f a fruit or a vegetable. <laughs> To be honest, so all this is going on and then she talks about what happens to her whenever she tries to cut him off. She gets a hateful reaction. He'd discard her, even though she already discarded him, I think, when she cut him off. I'm not... Right, and it's just like, he's not your boyfriend. Why do you care if he's throwing a fit? Like, that's the question I have to ask because it doesn't make any sense to me as a woman. It's just like, why do you care what this man is like? doing or saying he's not your man let his woman take care of him you can walk away you can walk this is not your responsibility you could absolutely walk away you are free free of saving someone else's emotions free from worrying whether or not you're gonna hurt his feelings free from having to be in the same room with a man who's upset with you not angry, not pissed, not even annoyed, upset. And you don't even know what he's upset with about because he won't talk to you today. You are free from all that shit, but you're just going to go. Okay. I need to click in excited, but okay. Exactly sure about that. He'd criticize her mm. telepathically. He would bring down her self-worth telepathically, of course. Mm. She never shows any sort of messages or proof of, of anything. This is just her talking she's never as a head. To him. Um, recounting a story that happened in the astral realm. We can truly only assume that the communication that they had was via telepathic communication uh, or through her dreams. And I assume they had a session. Maybe they did like VC or something in Discord and they like e sexed or whatever. I don't really know how that works. For the next part, get ready for a slurry of buzzwords. I'm going to try to explain right. this the same way Keisha explains it, which is the way that I think is the proper way to explain it. He implanted spiritual technology into my energy field to keep me from seeing the situation clearly. So I'm pretty intuitive woman. I think a lot of you on here who follow me know I'm pretty tapped in so you're intuitive but you didn't know not to fuck with another woman's man that, like that that's that really really you're intuitive but you didn't know better than to try to insert yourself into a man's life knowing that your entire intention was to talk to him because you had a dream about him and you thought he was calling you and then you found out that he had a girlfriend but you still wanted to venture around here anyway why he tapped in you with, 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 with like spiritual technology what the fuck is that an iPad? Is that what we're talking? Is it an iPad? Is it an iPod? From like 2016? Is that what we're talking about? 
Dude, let me tell you something. Back in the day, all I had was iPods for music. I have had my music for over 15... Actually, no, I'm probably over 20 years now. I don't know how I've made my shit go from device to device to device, but, like, I did a good job. I've done a good job, right? But still, it was just one of those things where it's just, I don't, I don't understand what the fuck it is. All this shit is right here with this lady. I feel like she's doing a lot. I feel like she's doing a lot just so she could avoid coming out and saying, like, yeah, maybe I was interested in the guy who was taken. Because that's what I'm really hearing. It sounds like she's upset because um, he's not interested in her. He has a girlfriend. Like, she's saying he got upset, but it's like, did he really get upset? Or was that the demon in your head telling you to keep trying? Why are you sauntering over and getting classes with somebody who you're obviously uh, interested in and not coming in good faith about? You know, because that's the one thing I peeped. Like, yeah, you could, you, you could use some spiritual things. Maybe he could have helped you out. But your entire intention when you first approached the guy was, I'm attracted to him. That's the only reason why she signed up for the classes, right? So right there, it's a bad faith fucking move. You didn't come in with pure intentions. And then you're still here with your intentions, um, despite the fact that you know that he has a whole woman. That woman's man is not your twin flame. Quit it, you know. And let and like, uh, like, 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 let's continue after you all break up. There's nothing to fucking continue. You haven't even uh, like it, it held this dude's hand, spoken romantically in any sense. You are watching his content, I'm assuming, and probably he mentioned something about wondering if his relationship would work out. And maybe you thought, like, oh, well, that's crazy, because I it was totally having dreams and visions of us talking about a relationship, and now he suddenly mentioned that him and his girlfriend's relationship that's been rocky before. What if it's rocky again, and that's why I'm getting these signals? <gasps> Come to me. Beast, the son from the Suez, come to me. Because that's literally what he looks like. He looks like he could have been Ron Perlman's son from that show. But that's beside the point. The point is, this is not her fucking man. This is not a love story. This dude is not single. This dude has a partner. And she literally is just sauntering up thinking that she's going to take that motherfucker. Which is the whole basis of this fucking thing. The whole basis. I just, I just, I, I cannot, I cannot for the life of me. I don't know, man. I'm just, mm. it's just, I, I, like, I'm too old to be this ignorant and not see what the fuck's going on. You know what I mean? It's just annoying. Like, it's, it's just like, that's not your man. We all can see that that's not your man. We, and like, I can at least see that she's trying to act like it's, like, this man is supposed to be hers. And it's just like, girl, do not use your spirituality as an excuse to steal from a whole bunch. What happened to thou shalt not steal or whatever the fuck it's called? But I guess since it's man, it doesn't count. Like, yeah, they're a dime a dozen, but you won't go get your dime. You're still someone else's fucking dime. Like, imagine that. You'd only afford, a, like, a, a, a fucking 20 sack and someone decided it's theirs because they had a dream that they were going to get high that day. I mean, like, the Lord put it in me, my stairs, the team put it in me. Okay, but you're taking my fucking weed. Well, I saw it in my vision. Vision my ass. You saw something. You just decided it was yours without thinking. Okay. It's fine. You know? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I did spiritual technology into Keisha's energy field which kept her from seeing the situation clearly. Which is stupid. Does that, does that make sense to you guys? Because I think that it's starting to make, I'm starting to get it. Keisha then goes on to accuse this nameless, completely faceless man of casting confusion spells on her or something along those lines, some kind of transmutation magic to just confuse her for the last couple months. I don't know what the f*** is going on, truly. <laughs> this is an interesting part. She says that every time she would try to confront him in the physical, which I assume means actually communicating with him, uh, and not in the telepathic world or the dreamland or spirit world or astral realm or whatever the f***, uh, but the really real world, he would deny what she's saying. Which makes sense. <laughs> because maybe it was imagined. I don't know. Every time I would try to confront him in the physical, he would deny what was happening. So mm -hmm. I would confront him. I would tell him everything that we had been talking about or um, the the exchanges we had had. And he would be like, no, I, I have a girlfriend. And one time he even said to me, like, only you and I know the truth of this relationship. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But she but she's not using it. Uh-huh. Only you and I know the truth about this relationship. And then she goes run and tell that. Uh, that right there is a good reason not to make you girlfriend since you're a turn ass snitch bitch. Fuck ass motherfucker. Like right there. Uh, the, the, right the truth there. of this connection. And I was like, that's a weird thing to say. And at one point he even asked me to express how I felt about him in the 3D. And so I did because I expected him to express it back. And he didn't. He pulled that same... Um, playing the fool stunt so that he could have something to leverage against me in case I ever tried to out him. This is. Ma'am, he has a fucking girlfriend who he posts about, and you're just assuming he's gonna come out and be like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm into you with his girlfriend sitting right there. Are you fucking insane? She beat him back in blue. She would knock him the fuck out. I just wanna see what his girlfriend looks like, honestly. Like, is she grandfathered in, or is she prettier? Or is she a prettier black woman? That's even... Oh, or an uglier black woman. That'd be even more interesting. I just want to know what his girlfriend looks like, honestly. I like that VR chat thing where it's like, you know, the ethics and laws of VR chat when you, when you grope someone in VR chat. I tell you what, I, I'm not playing that game ever again. Every time I go in there, something horrible happens to me. What? I get misled very easily whenever I get on VR chat and then I get taken advantage of. That's where the first video ends and it is a bit of a doozy. It's tough to understand, but once again, trying to be respectful here. There is a part two, by the way. We're not gonna do a full breakdown of part two because it's a mystery man still, but we're gonna get to the most important parts. She goes on to blame her bad days. She couldn't even get up some days or do work or anything. She would just be sad and need to cry and she knew that it was him doing this. She's blaming her bad days on this guy that she's, um, that is just d d astrally fucking with her. I really mm -hmm. don't know what, it, you know, what exactly we're getting. He's just existing. He's a man and exists. That's the problem. That's the problem. He's a man and he exists and, like, she knows he exists and that's the problem. She can't live. She can't breathe. You know, she's just sitting in her bed being all sad. Having a hard time catching her breath. Being like... How do I breathe without you? I want to know. How do I live without you? Cause you better know. Like all off key on purpose too. All off key on purpose. Like it, like how do I ever ever stop? How do I? Oh how do I? How do I breathe? Like, she, she like, just totally, like, any author she wants to. She want to be a soprano? She want to be a soprano. She wants to be an author or a bass? She should be an author or a bass. That's what she's going with. But, it, like, what she, you know what she ain't going to be? That man's girlfriend. <laughs> Not now. Mm -mm. Not now. She's so mad about it. Like, Hell have no fury like a woman scorned, especially one who you didn't know liked you. Especially one who you didn't know rejecting you would get, like, the entire, um, app mad at you. For not cheating on your girlfriend. I, I guess. I'm not sure. Yeah, here. So uh, there would be days where I would just feel like I can't get up, I can't do anything, I feel horrible, I just feel sad, I feel like I just need to cry all day. And I knew that it was coming from this person i just sensed it then she says that there were moments where money wouldn't come in and she blamed that on him and mm -hmm. she would tell him telepathically that it was strange that when he came into her life money stopped flowing she was she's blaming money Mo i didn't is money spiritual because i mean you know i'm trying to be as as understanding here as possible but i don't think i think money is kind of like the antithesis of spirit? Oh my god, this is a real thing. Why money is actually spiritual energy linked in. Money is God's way of rewarding us for serving his other children and motivating- Which is a lie. Money belongs to the fucking Lord. It is an energy source yet, but it's not good for you to have it. It's not good for you to like try to create some generational wealth like that shit isn't already a thing. And look what it's doing to people. Look what happens when you get that generational well. All of a sudden, you want to put your child in a fucking headlock. 
just saying. But like, yeah, that's spiritual. Like, sh money, it's useful. But like, if you're gonna have a bunch of it, you have to know how it works. Like, you can't just have money and spend it all willy nilly. You actually have to do something corrective with it. Sometimes people aren't like raised to be uh, financially literate either, which is a problem. And a lot of parents, well, they don't feel like they need to teach their kids anything. They, they kept them alive. They gave them food and blanket, but they didn't think to teach them how to, how to like, um, be financially savvy. You know, which is a shame. You can use it against them. Terrible time. Terrible times, I gotta say. But yeah, it's just like, um, it's weird how, like, she's saying it's his fault for money not coming in, but it's just like, isn't that what a job's for? Hmm. No, you wouldn't have to worry about whether or not money's coming your way if you actually worked. Putting that out there. By the way, what happened to all the money that the IRS and them were actually saying was, a uh, where is it? Here it is. Missing. I'm wondering about that, because that's got me so fucking confused and worried us to do so. Rich people wrote that. I feel like money's the f***ing root of all evil, is it not? Am I just, am I off base there? Am I off base or something like this or something? Am I on this, not understanding this or something? Like, lay down! We get to a big point. This is a really big point because this is the first time that she's going to meet this guy in the actual physical world, like face to face in the really real reality. She talks about a retreat that this guy hosted and heavily implies that he really, really wanted her to go mm -hmm. in a really, really real way, but she didn't want to. And after a month of back and forth, she decided to go. First time seeing each other in person, epic. And at one point, you know, he had encouraged, he kept encouraging me to book sessions with him. I think I booked three, but one of them I, I canceled, but there were no refunds. And then he was hosting a retreat mm -hmm. and he wanted to invite me. And at first I was like, no, I'm not, <laughs> not going on this retreat. And so we spent maybe like a month going back and forth. And then finally I was like, all right, maybe I just need to meet this person and see once and for all what the truth is. Cause at that time. Again, he has a fucking girlfriend. Why are you entertaining the man who already has somebody? See, this is this is the problem right here. That's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. Like that's a problem. Do you want some bitch to come into your relationship and start flirting with your man? Oh, she doesn't have one. If you did have a relationship, would you appreciate that? No. You will lose them exactly how you got them in, in a lot of cases, man. And this one right here is just ew. it's just taking the cake. It's like, oh my god, bitch. Why are you trying to get with someone who already has somebody? That That's my question. Like, why are you trying to steal somebody? Trying to be Mrs. Steal Your Man and shit. It, 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 like, it, it, it's preposterous to me because it's just like, what are you doing? It'd be different if he approached you because then you'd be in wrong. But no, no, no. He hasn't tried talking to you at all. You're a home wrecking whore is what this is. That's what it's getting to. You even said that you were done some twin flame shit and you got away from it. So what happened there? Did that one not want you either? He wanted to stick to the one he already had? Did you successfully like infiltrate one relationship and now you're trying to move to a whole other one? Which better yet, what kind of person gets off on breaking up people's relationships just to take the person from the other? That's fucking gross. I wouldn't trust the motherfucker who does that nasty fucking shit. I'll be sitting there questioning you for a long time. In fact, uh, Voldemort would do that shit all the time. She'd just take men from, like, people all the fucking time. And I was too dumb at the time to realize it. But looking back on it now, I should have left that whole whore alone. I really should have. After she did it the first, like, so many times. She did it like, what? I think every relationship she's ever been in, it's because she took the person's per man. I, I think that was what it was. I think every time she was in a relationship, she took a person from another person. Which was, I thought was crazy when she decided to get married. Because it's just like, you're like, dude, that's a Leo. He's not going to let you go. The fact that he's way bigger than you says he's not going to let you. The fact that you decided not to work and you had his child... 
he ain't letting you go without, you know, you paying for it. And he's a mean redneck who apparently doesn't like, he didn't like me. Oh, girl, your life is over, which is terrible because she was such a fucking a, a flirt. She really was a flirt, but that's besides the point. The point is, she keeps entertaining this idea of going to get with a man who has a woman, and it's like, where is your self respect to not get with somebody who already has somebody? Like, um. Why are you trying to get somebody who already has? I don't understand this, um blatant disregard and disrespect not only for the couple but for the self like you have no respect for this man you just expect him to go and be with you regardless but you know he has a girlfriend like where's the res you see it he's posting pictures of a girlfriend you know that he loves his girlfriend at one point you're like oh no i'm not messing with that but then all of a sudden he tries to call you back and i don't think that happened i think you got mad at his girlfriend and you just wanted to walk away but then your instinct was like this is a petition I can win him to my side. That's really what this is. You started competing with his girlfriend and you, there was no competition. He has a woman he loves. He's been with her for apparently years. And then you started, and then she, uh, where am I? Right here. I was going back and forth about the retreat. I, I still was confused about the person. I'm sure because you were. Because there were things that he was doing to help me heal. And there were times where he felt like a loving presence but then there were times where he definitely did not. We learned that most of their conversations took place in mediums that have no way of being recorded uh, by any physical object. So there's mm -hmm. just no proof that they ever happened in like the real, you know, the real world mm -hmm. or whatever we're calling it now. The real, you know, reality. Reality sucks. So I get this. You know. AKA, there was never an actual real conversation between the two of them. It was, it, this is all still in her head. She's imagining most of this shit is what it is. I should have got my Dremel out and got my cuticles, but it don't matter. I just now it feel inspired to color my nails to be like, you know what? They're nice and strong and cute again. Reality does kind of blow. So I understand what's going on here. So she's going to this retreat. She says she's paid for it. And after she has paid, she gets a telepathic email message some kind of thing from him saying that he is still firmly with his partner so she flips out as one would when you find out wait wait uh, hold on this so i paid for the retreat and immediately after i paid i get not immediately but later that night i get a telepathic message just so you know i'm still firmly with my partner and this was after months of convincing me that he was in love with me that he wanted to be with me that he wanted to marry me that he wanted to us to move to the same If he didn't say it directly out of his mouth, ma'am, it's not real. Also, who gives a fuck? When did he say any of this shit? Months of convincing you to go to a retreat. When did he try to convince you? You're, you're, you're saying all this telepathic shit. And, but then somewhere in your brain, logic clicked on. It was just like, you realize he has a girlfriend, right? And then all of a sudden, you're mad at him for being faithful after you made all this shit up? Okay, man place and um, admittedly I flipped out I don't know why <laughs> rightfully so I think because I'm like this whole time I thought that you were like creating this plan to leave and you know that these feelings were real and this feels like trickery she thought he had a plan to leave his girlfriend or that they were going to get married and move in together or something I'm not I can't imagine being that guy though I feel kind of bad for him just sort of sort of if, some, if someone showed up to my door and said that we had been mm -hmm. speaking telepathically, I would I would literally get a gun. Like, that's the first thing I would do. I would feel <laughs> as if my life is in danger, and I would be- And also, you got a thing, too. Like, I thought she joined this spiritual shit for spiritual growth, but it's obvious, like, every time she thinks about the dude, it's in a romantic way. Not in a spiritual sense. Not taking any of the teachings she's learned from this guy by watching him and shit. Just straight up watching because she, it, it's like her monkey wants to be wet. She wants that army special meats is what she wants. Eggplant parmesan is what it is. That's what she wants. Which, if you've never had that, that's absolutely really good. It really is. But it's just, it's so embarrassing. 
it's it's really embarrassing to watch because it's just like, dude, what are you doing? That's not your man. Like she's even like in the very beginning, she said she already went through something like this, some twin flame shit, right? But here she is trying to do it all over again. And it's just like, why? Why are you after a whole bitch's man to begin with? That's the thing that it's fucking me up. And to protect myself and my loved ones. That's what I would do if someone showed up to, showed up to my house and or my retreat and said uh, that they were speaking to me telepathically. That would be a big... You know, you don't even know if he does drugs. Like, that's a whole other thing. Like, what if he's a druggie? What if he's someone who like, who has a diaper fetish? What if he's someone who, uh, who sweats excessively? Do you like them enough to deal with the fact that, like, sweat drips off of them a bunches? And it's just like... Oh my god, it's gonna get in there. Like, are you okay with... <laughs> Are you okay with wearing the shower cap when you fuck in case the sweat starts a, 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 a drizzling and then a pouring upon you like the Holy Spirit? Are you okay with that? Because some people can't. Unless they really love the person, they can't handle that. Mm -hmm. Scary L. She then claims she got a refund after threatening to show up to the retreat and then expose him. Expose him for what exactly? I have no mm. idea because there's no proof of anything. And also, I don't know if she threatened him telepathically or physically because that's like, you can't really just threaten people. You can't just uh, blackmail people. I, this seems like blackmail maybe, but it's astral so it's not real, it's fine. Maybe this guy just refunded her because she requested it. Uh, maybe she was, I don't know. I don't know, who knows? No one does. Literally nobody does. No one will ever know. So I was no. like, give me my money back. And at first he was like, no, I'm keeping it. And I was like, okay, well, you can keep it. Um, and here are the two options. My ancestors will come in and light your ass up, or I'm gonna show up at the retreat and um, expose you. So She's gonna expose him for being the home wrecking whore who decided to join this course because she wanted to be with the guy who already has a girlfriend. Somehow, that's his fault for her imagination not being in check. Are you fucking for real? Somehow she's going to expose him for not getting with her. Is that, am I correct, sir? Hmm? Am I correct? I feel really confused because I don't think, I think she understands what the fuck she's doing because I sure as fuck don't. Which, which one do you want? And I'm then to do my nails. Pretty quickly after that, I got so. my money back. But that was I'm the not, first, you know. not the first, but that was the biggest moment when there was a breakdown for me of like ooh the mask just slipped and then after that there were many more moments where like, there was deep rage and anger potentially some racism not really sure about that she then says that there was what a the deep fuck? rage and anger from him and also some uh racism because we have to throw that in there as well even though this is the see and that's the thing that got me it's just like oh it's because of the white dude he wasn't attracted to you huh that's what it is that's immediately what I thought as soon as she said the racism thing. Because it's just like, oh. She wanted a zaddy. She wanted a zaddy. I don't understand how you like the smell of this, man. You know, I was about to say, like, it's not good smells. But yeah, she wanted zaddy to give her attention, but he has a girlfriend. That's really what this is all about. She's mad because a white dude didn't like her, and now she's using her spiritual platform to say shit about him. Claiming she's exposing him, even though she's the one going after someone who's already in a fucking partnership. I don't give a fuck what the fuck he said. He's the one in a vow with his girlfriend. I give a fuck about him. You're the one with the moral um decorum here that's questionable. Why the fuck are you just venturing and frolicking off to any guy who's just going to give you goddamn attention? Do you not have standards or are you that desperate to get dicked down? That's my question. Like, do you like yourself or do you just like the idea of other people liking you? Like, where is your substance? person who wants to marry you and is in love with you. So I don't know, you know, what the beginning and end, what the plan, the strategy for this was. I really don't understand that from the from the perspective of this evil piece of shit male guy. After this point, Maybe we really do don't need to speak anymore about any of this, guys. It's it's just more of the same. It's it's more of the same. You guys understand the basis and that's really Okay. 
the meat and potatoes of the situ the sitch, the drama, the big astral, the insane astral drama. The comments from the re-upload, by the way, are on her side. I don't know if they were initially. The original time, I don't think they were. I don't know what's going on, really. I'm confused up until this point. It's a small community. The video didn't do super well. It's 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 a find. It's a diamond in the woof. So when all this is going down, she never names the guy. In fact, she only named him later. And this was after other spiritual TikTok friends advised her to name him. Um, that video, though, is deleted, and I cannot find a re-upload or a stitch or a duet or anything. But the guy's name came out, and this fella's name is Saint Finnegan, a TikTok creator who is in the spirit world. Mm. If you if you want to apply like reality to this, and this is like a defamatory thing that she's saying about this guy, but not really, because it's like it's not even it's real. It's just fit, like kind of fictional, not in the real world. I don't. I mean, yes, but no. No, but yeah. sure. It, it, the answer is sure, sure, because it's yeah, 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 it, it is defamatory in a sense. Because it's going to make a whole bunch of women look at this dude like a predator, even though this is like, um... What was that movie with, uh... Demi and Michael Douglas. What the fuck was that movie? Full Disclosure? Where she was someone's boss? And she was basically, like, trying to get him to sleep with her. And he was the subject of sexual harassment by her and assault, basically. And he was trying to explain to his wife, no, baby, I was not trying to, to fuck her. I swear, she came on to me. No one was fucking believing this poor dude either. It was terrible. But yeah, it kind of reminds me of that. It's just like, dude, what the fuck? And this dude's name is Saint Finnegan. Mm. I don't know how you can represent... I, I think a judge... If you were to take this in front of a judge and a jury, I don't know what would happen. It'd be funny to watch, though. I do know that. This would be some Amble Hood type Johnny Depp stuff. This dude is handsome as f by the way. He's got. Does anyone remember Paul Ro uh, Ron Perlman from the that Beauty and the Beast show back in the eighties? Do you remember the spinoff? This is the same fucking. This is that kid. Do you feel old yet? Mm -hmm. This is literally him. Like, look at his hair. Look at his hair. Look at him. Look, he's very much a little, like, treasure trove of, like, like shortness, but compactory. Like, he's very short. Yes, I can tell he's short just by looking at him. At least I'm, a, I'm, I'm shorter than him, I'm sure. But I'm pretty sure he's Irish, so I know he's fucking short. And, you know, he's just little. He's little. He's compact. He don't look too bad, except for that whole duck face thing. That, that right there, just be like, nah, you're not for me. That right there, look, no, you're, you're, I don't give a fuck if it's a mustache or not. It looks too, it, it, it's too close. You're not for me. I will leave that alone. But she seems to think that that was the man who was calling her. Um, me, personally, myself, that is not my type of man, so I wouldn't answer that fucking call. You know what I mean? Like, personally, myself, I wouldn't answer that. Like, he's cute, he's alright looking, he's easy on the eyes, but, uh, not my type. For sure as he is. Get all up on here. Hand in hand accessories. The color looks nice anyway, it's been a minute, and I want my nails look cute. Anyway, let's continue with this really handsome, beautiful, handsome Jack-looking fellow before the match. Beautiful hair, and he's really handsome. He's been posting since December 2019, and that is according to his uh, oldest video on his page. And he's got a song, and it's actually a solid before song. The pandemic. Handsome dude, he's talented. It's awesome. I like his singing. It's, it's pretty good. It's not bad. It's 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 interesting. He's a you see how well he was very R and B ish. I can see why she was attracted to him. He's like, oh, he got so. He got a lot of hair like I do. We can, like, it, it, it do cute things together. I'm pretty sure she looked at this dude and was thinking, I can make him into a really nice pet. Like the white women do. I'm sorry, that, that, that's a joke, but still, it's just, like, fucking awkward that she just saw a dude and thought she was going to, like, claim to him and he was just going to go for it. Oh, wait, my bad. They, um, there you go. You know, he's made for Ke uh, Keisha. St. Finicky, or whatever his name is, has posted up way less than Keisha. Uh, his 
four times the, the followers, about 400,000. And he received a lot of harassment from her community, which was plentiful and not in his favor at all. He even decided to make a second response to all this stuff after her first one. Mm. The second response was a legitimate response. It had physical evidence. It's a lot more serious than the first one. We don't okay. even need to show the first one. First off, this guy's fit is hard as f what is he wearing? That's like a. I have that a rug actually is that a looks really like nice that. Robe. If I, I pull that. myself out, like, let's be real. The stakes for this, they're pretty low. It's not like real world stuff. The, the stakes for this are very low. Like, there's a lot worse things going on in the world right now. But seeing a spirit guy and a spirit girl fighting on TikTok, that's why I made this video. That's why I'm covering this. That's Fair. what it's. Because it's awesome. So he starts by saying he's been contemplating making a response to Keisha. He shows her TikTok. He shows all the people dragging his name through the mud. Defamation. Astral plane defamation. Spiritual plane defamation. Energy defamation. Other types of defamation. All kinds of defamation. Wait, does this all actually of go I've in the court of law? for a couple days now on making a second response to the accusations this creator is accusing me of. And for oh the my. last two days, I have been watching my name being dragged across oh, he the scrolled. mud in ditches he scrolled. of TikTok. I oh, he stopped and kept scrolling. In thousands of comments, I have had videos made, stitched, and duetted, speaking hateful narratives over me. And so I believe it is my right right now to speak my piece on this matter and bring clarity to a lot of details that yeah, are being on, overlooked. Sir, yeah, Before I now. jump into some of these details, I feel called to approach some of the accusations as asterisks and uh, a prescript. So now we're gonna actually legitimately Ooh. just react to a part. So number one, I am a sovereign being who is entirely in control of his energy. Smart. I harm no one. Number two, I do not subscribe to the narrative of twin flames. Number three, I do not also subscribe to the narrative of marriage. Number four, I do not plant chips energetically into people's auric toroidal fields in different dimensions. Number five, I do not astral travel into people's dreams and harass them. Damn. Number six, I do not astral project into people's dreams and harass them or do any other Doctor Strange Guardians of the Galaxy fuckery <laughs> that I'm being accused of. I like that he threw in some like fake that Hollywood bullshit so people understand some things are real. This shit is not. I like that. He at least is tapped in enough to know better and to be like, look, I'm not subscribing to any of this fucking bullshit. It's all dumb. It don't make no sense. And it's really funny how someone who claims to have been on a, a twin flame journey already is here bothering me like a, like a twin flame fucking addict. Desperate. To have some validation in that shit. Desperate to believe that a person who, want, who wants nothing to do with them and was there possibly the most toxic relationship fucking ever. Yeah, that, that's that's my other side. That's my boo. That's the person who reflects me. That's the person who's just like me, just an opposite. And it's like, no. That's the person who brings out your worst side and you bring out their worst side. That's all it is. Plus, when you really think about it, the whole twin flame thing sounds like bullshit. Like, how do you know that your dog isn't your twin flame? It, it's got to be a man. It's got to be a woman. It's got to be somebody I'm having sex with. Not someone who actually burns with the same spirit as I do, right? And even if we did, it, it, like, it doesn't make any sense unless we're fucking. It doesn't make any sense unless we're fucking, I guess. Wait, you don't do any of that? Well, then what the hell am I doing? I feel like I'm living life all wrong. I gotta be more like this guy. I need to quit traveling into people's f***ing dreams. What? What is this? What's Sorry, I'm getting, getting a little unhinged. Yeah, he clarifies that yes, all is of this is telepathic and energetic, not in real life no, 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 harassment, so we're safe. Because this is it just is. absurd and this is a weird it's TikTok a spirit thing, don't bully either one of these people, by the way, even if you think they're both f***ing lunatics, which I wouldn't blame you if you did, or if you think that I'm an asshole, for not having a perfectly open mind, that's completely fine too. Bully me, bully me, get mad at me. Don't get mad at them. He says that she implanted this stuff into her head that he was telepathically in her head and was telling her that he was her twin flame, mm. AKA future husband, and then scheduled a meeting. So he's saying that she implanted him into her head to tell to yes. twin flame. He doesn't subscribe to the twin flame though. We yes. already 
it's like a sexual thing in nature as well. It, it's it's basically sexual harassment is the accusation. But like astral essay, astral essay, which I'm not an expert, but I think that really sort of devalues the serious things that exist in reality that don't get nearly as much coverage or press mm. or algorithmic fortitude. Oh, how fortuitous. This content creator who is accusing me of these things made a three-part series, and in the first video, she states clearly that this all happened telepathically and energetically mm. for months. Mind you, I had not met her in the first video she claims that I had been meeting her telepathically and building a romantic relationship with mm -hmm. her, saying that I was her twin flame, saying that I want to marry her, saying that I want to move in with her and travel the world. She built this facade within her head mm -hmm. before we had ever met mm -hmm. for months. And then she reached out to me and scheduled a business one with one. Oh. I take my business very seriously mm -hmm. and every single space that I am with whether it's 15 people in a retreat or if it's a one person call is very sacred to me. Mm -hmm. These meetings specifically were about business and how she can optimize her business, Man, how really she can look into analytics room. insights with her marketing. <laughs> I was sexually assaulted in the astral plane. How fortuitous. I <laughs> uh, shouldn't say that. He then states that he takes his business seriously as it is a sacred thing to him and she purely called about business and how to optimize it. Purely right. business related stuff. In the business meetings, the astral communication that they did, he says that he had no idea that she was building a narrative of them falling in love mm -hmm. in another dimension. He was unaware of that. It wasn't until after that meeting that she reached out in the real world, she messaged him on Instagram and told him to leave her alone and that he was harassing her. Even in these business meetings. I still had no idea this narrative that she was building in her head that we were romantically involved in a different dimension. It was until way after these meetings that she reached out to me via Instagram DM. Can you please leave me alone? This hara this is harassment at this point and it needs to stop. Oh, let me big this. Let me big it real quick. Here we go. I am confused. I haven't talked to you in months, he says. Aside from the woman's retreat stuff. I'm not going to argue with you because I know you are just going to continue to gaslight me. You are contacting me telepathically and you have been for the last six months even though I've repeatedly asked you to stop. Which is funny because it's like nowhere in her story she ever said um that right very interesting very interesting indeed um i'm asking you to stop in the 3d now it's negatively impacting my mental health and well-being please stop he's like respectively i never think of you i thought of you when we worked together but always in a sister way but when we got off the calls i did not continue thoughts i do not have dreams of you i do not ponder or entertain any thoughts towards you ever i don't know what you are experiencing but i have nothing to do with this in any way i am in a committed relationship for five years i have always been faithful with this being said i hope you are doing well and i believe you are powerful enough to whatever probably fight it off or whatever and you can see he blocked her he blocked her on instagram he uh, it looks like instagram to me but he blocked her he, he absolutely blocked her he's just like yeah no we don't need to talk anymore we we don't need to talk two seconds ah let's see ah poor guy poor guy like imagine having a whole girlfriend and another woman just wants to ruin your life because you won't fuck her instead like, just imagine that. Like, she's saying, please leave me alone. This is harassment. She never mentioned messaging him to stop harassing her at all. She never mentioned this message in the slightest. Hi, baby. You come here. She didn't mention none of this at all in her initial uh, stories, right? She never mentioned sending him these messages. She said, oh, I, either you send me my money back or I'm exposing you. But apparently there's no exposure. Oh, there it is. Apparently, um... She just thought he was harassing her. Completely different than what she told everybody, right? 
and asked me to stop harassing her in a different dimension. I made it very clear that I had no idea what she was talking about. He then shows the messages, and Mommy. this is ridiculous. You're she so said, cute. can you please Why? leave me alone? This is harassment at this point, oh, and he it needs to anyway. stop. Well, he shit. says, I'm confused, I'm I'm, I'm still I haven't nails, talked so. to you in months, aside from the women's retreat stuff. She says, I'm not going to argue with you, because I know you're just going to continue to gaslight me. You are contacting me. By the way, gaslight, that is code for some people that they're just being disproven oh, look, and that they're nails, uh, you wrong. You are contacting me telepathically and you have been for the last six months, even though I've repeatedly asked you to stop. I'm making you stop in the 3D now. It's negatively impacting my mental health and well-being. Please stop. Respectfully, I you, hyphen, I, I never think of you. Here. I thought of you when we worked Maybe together, like but always in a sister way. But when we got right? off the calls, I did not continue Go thoughts. Ahead, I do not have dreams of you. I do not ponder or entertain any Go thoughts on, towards you, ever. I don't know what you're experiencing, you but I have nothing to do with this in any way. Thank you. I am in a committed relationship for five years, and I have always been faithful. With this being said, I hope you are doing well, and believe you are powerful enough to... <laughs> blocked. <Right. laughs> That's a hard-ass response. That's a hard-ass response. And I'm still, you know, I still feel bad for Keisha because she obviously believes something bad happened to her. But at the same time, it's like, eh, it doesn't seem like it was that bad. You'd be all right, I think. Frankie. Worst things have happened, for sure. He then goes right. on to explain that in the video that she posted that became super popular, oh. that name dropped him, it had no context, My so bad. people thought that what she was doing was in real life, which is massively different. The only mm -hmm. clarification was a single comment that she made on her post saying, yes, telepathically and energetically. Huge difference. Real life, big bad deal, bad. Telepathically and energetically, it's like, I don't really know how to quantify exactly what's being said uh, or what's going on or, you know, if I'm right? even capable like, of really doing that Q this. word. Quantify, you know what I'm saying? Very important part in her third video, which is the one that went viral, has over 100,000 views and thousands of comments. There is no context when it comes to the allegations she's accusing me of. So the people that are coming to that video are literally thinking that I did this, but in real life. The irony here is bizarre. For anyone that has done inner work and shadow work, they, are, they know clearly that what we project and judge onto others is quite literally a neglected wound that we have within ourselves. Mm -hmm. So, with that being said, the harassment and abuse that she accused me of, she literally did to me, but in real life. She did it in real life. This is real. And this is happening to me. And by real, I mean, if I was an asshole, I could literally take you to court and sue you for slandering my name, for defamation of Damn. character. And let me tell you something, sister. Your evidence and proof will not hold up in court. He then clarifies that this is real life now. She's not just hurting him in this- It's the fact he broke out those words the way he did that makes you feel like he's got Gemini somewhere. Just the way he's just like, you should be grateful for me to be a better person because I could snap your fucking ass in half on, on, on the real world since I'm a man and, I, and material is my forte. I don't need the spirit, bitch. No, you lay down. Okay, well, go ahead. I am, I am talking all like nasty, my bad. You know what I mean? Like, that's what it really comes down to. He came out harsh as fuck being like, look. Quit it. That's that's really what he's saying. He just wants this over and done with. And yet, here's this woman coming up and harassing him because he didn't want to be her boyfriend. He didn't want to leave his girlfriend. That's really what this comes down to. She was upset that he didn't. Submit. Or she was jealous of his following, even though he doesn't post nearly as much as him and came up with this whole story just to make make him lose subscribers or followers or whatever they're fucking called and shit. No, competition. Because people will ruin your business by making some shit up. And, which is the first tell. Isn't it weird how someone who's in the spiritual shit is going to other spiritual people? For help? When the journey is all on your own. Yeah, you know, that's something that I noticed myself with this story, right? Why the fuck are you going to someone else who's spiritual if you're spiritual as well? Isn't that like talking to yourself, basically? If you're both tapped into the same shit? Different translations, sure, but same shit. Same fucking old ass tree, that the roots you're sucking from. 
corporate world, he's actually being hurt in real life, which is true. That's actually true. The only real life hurt that happened through all of this is her making the video name dropping him mm -hmm. and doing it in an incredibly irresponsible way that uh, slandered him and mm -hmm. caused a bunch of people to send negative spirit missiles towards him, spirit bombs, love mm -hmm. Dragon Ball Z, etc. He probably could take her to court, honestly, for slander and defamation, but he doesn't probably want to go that route because he would seem like a massive, massive, and he's like probably one of those live and let die type guys like Paul McCartney in the wings <laughs> or whatever. Like John Lennon's Imagine. Imagine you give me some beer money right now. He then states what she's doing is not right, that it is hurtful, and he cannot let it go any further. And honestly, I agree completely, and she did delete the video. So it's it's solid. It was re-uploaded. This is a really strange thing, because they both seem like good people. They both seem like people who are not, uh, on the whole, harming anyone, really. They seem... No. <laughs> I will say... He isn't harmful. She was. Because I'm looking at everything about her. Before she ever engaged with him, she had like all, uh, many more videos of him, but nowhere near as many followers. Um, she's a spiritualist, but doesn't understand the spirit of discernment or understanding that maybe you shouldn't move on with somebody who already has somebody. Um, I don't know about her previous Twin Flame shit, but obviously she didn't learn that lesson from the last time, I'm assuming, since she's, it seems like it, she thinks it's okay to her, like, go and send people after someone claiming that they were using glamour spells on her, when in reality, she was watching his shit and decided to approach him and take a class, and then out of nowhere decide that he was harassing her, and then start this whole story and campaign, <clears throat> and then one random, and then random people were like, well, who is it, who is it, and then she, finally she gives a name, even though she had no intention of giving the name, you know, it's the little things. It's the little things. I'm just saying, she's way more harmful. Like, I know we're, I know I should look at her like if she was an innocent person making an honest mistake, but there, but I don't see that shit at fucking all. Mm -mm. No, if you're supposed to be enlightening spirit, like earth leaders or whatever the fuck it is, I, I should assume that you're a little more wiser than to fall for the whimsical ways of a man with some hair. You know what I mean? Harmless, but she has a problem with him and then it's resulted in this i want to move from the head to the heart right now because this is actually heartbreaking when i go to her comments in the video that went viral 99 percent of the comments of her following is supporting her delusion mm. this is not true love what she has done is she has cultivated an entire community that is quite literally keeping her in a habitual loop pattern that do not care about her well-being. That breaks my heart. So I leave this with a prayer that you are surrounded by strong, bold, powerful, independent women I thought I was gonna say black who women. speak of reverence and inspire you to liberate yourself and let go of the shackles that you have placed on your feet and hands because you are in control. This is the best part of the whole thing, in my opinion. He states that he needs real support, not TikTok followers who are feeding her delusions. He's like trying to be positive and get people to just stop her and let everyone move on, not stop her by bringing her down or, or like rallying a community of like, oh, you're a crazy. Also, dude says something interesting. He says, you have to free yourself from the shackles you placed on your hands and feet or whatever, right? Or basically what you place on yourself. And it's just like, hmm. You, you, like, you can really tell he wants to curse her the fuck out is what it, I'm trying to say. You can really tell he wants to uh, be like, fuck it, I'm gonna I'm be on this bitch. But he can't. He, he's trying. But that whole mechanism in men where it's just like, ah, I don't want to hurt her feelings and make her fucking cry. You know, that whole thing in the back of y'all's head, that, that's still activated. So he's not trying to be mean because he doesn't want to see that ugly face. He doesn't want to see what she looks like. He doesn't want to make a bitch cry. Not only it like hurt pe women's feelings, but it's absolutely 100% necessary. You're crazy. You're delusional. You're insane. 
even though that's probably what would have happened in like the late 1500s but like now it's just he's being genuinely nice it seems and honestly i think i'm on his side unfortunately at this point i really do like keisha and like her content's pretty quirky and interesting but this is just stupid <laughs> Now to do a little bit of simple Google fact checking. She claimed to book an appointment with him. I don't know if he's taken his appointments down, but you can't find anything in his link tree, his TikTok, his YouTube, his Spotify. There's nothing about private sessions. There's nothing in there about any of that. He has a podcast called Energy Hospital, which is very bad name for, it's like a soap opera thing. We kind of scraped through it couldn't find anything about private sessions. Keisha also claims that she booked a spot at a retreat that was refunded. The only thing we could really find was this thing called a Rose Heart Retreat, which had him listed as an instructor. But this, I'd be, but I'd be more worried about this guy. This guy looks like a cult leader. That was Seymour. Retreat, which had him listed as an instructor. But this, nigga, that's Seymour for Final Fantasy X. Her ex. Which is 10. That's literally Seymour. Oh my god, that's so creepy. But I'd be more worried about this guy. This guy looks like a fing cult leader. Uh -huh. No offense, I don't want to fame or slander, but he's dressed very suggestively. That's how I would dress if I was a cult leader. I don't think he's a cult leader. But this is an interesting outfit. I can't believe this is a real world. Look at these other people. That's a sweet hat. The fuck? Look at these bitches. Let's see, you're saying Finnegan, Alice, Alicia, or Alicia Flower. Whose wing is that, ma'am? Where did you get that? You know what? Then we have Julie Hatch, who I think is taking a dump. I can't tell. No, she, honestly, I would not be trying to shit or piss right where there's a, like, you see where her foot is right here? Can you see that? Where I'm pointing at? Not now, because I got the thing. I don't know. I, you can probably see her foot. You can't see what I'm about to read on her. But you got her foot right here. It's like going down the ledge, and it's like... What do I think it's all over your foot, man? That's all I need to know. Anyway, um, St. Finnegan is a remembrance teacher and storyteller and sonic alchemist. What the fuck is that? Who helps guide you back to your authentic, undeniable self through artistic expression. He specializes in helping you remember your dance, your song, and your true voice. Definitely sounds Irish as fuck. Probably short as fuck too, a little leprechaun motherfucker. Good for him. I like his style. He feels we are all artists down to the core. There is no prerequisite to creating other than an home and on. Maybe it's supposed to be honest somewhere. I don't know. It's apparently you could do more. Why does he need more when I when, when like obviously like whatever? I don't get it. Alicia Sunflower. Oh, maybe it's because of the picture sizes. His is a little small. That's still bullshit though. He has more room. Why can't I read more of his shit? But I uh, that's uh, whatever. Uh, Alicia Flower. She specializes in offering psychological, somatical, and spiritual integrative. Trauma-informed care and working with people who have experienced complex trauma and grief. Alicia has been working in the field of mental and behavioral health for 13 years. Okay. And practicing with her MS in a mental health counseling for nine years. Oh, okay. That's cool. So we have someone who likes delving into the spirit when it comes to artistic endeavors. We have someone who actually has sat here and like worked in the mental health field. I hope. It says that she has for 13 years in practicing with her MS and the mental health counseling for nine years. So obviously she works in some shit. So I can appreciate that. She's on some uh, uh, young shit. And we got Julia Hatch. She's a devoted way shower of the planet kingdom with over a decade of immersion with the earth, working and studying with a master herbalist, ooh, indigenous healers, ooh, and the plant themselves. She's a professional herbalist, medicine maker, holistic practitioner, and a ceremonialist uh, deeply guided by the wisdom of the earth and the medicine. Okay. So we got a bard. A fucking mage. A, a mind mage. And a healer. They can do some damage. They can do some da He can definitely do some buffing. 
He could definitely buff this shit. He, he could uh, buff the fuck out of these two. She could do some dances with her, like, indigenous shit. She's definitely throwing some poison darts at motherfuckers. Look at her crouch down like that. Like a straight-ass tiger. They are going to fuck some people up. She might not have a hat, but she doesn't need to because the plants need the sun and so that she. Like, that's where we're going. They only put the hats on because if the sun gets too bright from, like, her awesomeness, it's going to blind them, and then it's going to be, like, a whole elder tour. Mm-hmm, you betcha. Mm -hmm. How do you get into this world? How do you just, like, stop thinking about stuff? So now we get oh, into the public response to this thing, this situation. It's very interesting. This whole thing is nuts. So we have people online, outsiders, that are looking into the strange, just random passers-by on TikTok. It's yeah. a very complicated situation. They're reacting to the trauma that Keisha has been experiencing. And it's shocking. The people's reactions are shocking. A lot of people had a lot of thoughts about this and not all of them I think are using the full capacity of their brains and ability to reason to uh, come to a conclusion on okay. what exactly is going on. So this is a person who made a video breaking down it. She wants someone to call St. Finnegan out. Which okay, so uh, first off, I'm going to say, if she's wearing a beanie, she's probably trash. This is a bitch who used to collect beanies. Mm -hmm. But in this day and age, no, it's 2024. It's a different era. She wears a beanie, she's trash. She, she wears a beanie, she's absolute trash. I'm sorry, I had to find my faith here. But it's just, uh, like, I, 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 like, nowadays it's just a tell. Because it's like you're not wearing the beanie because you grew up in the era where people were cool with beanies. You're wearing a beanie because you think it's fucking special. And not because it actually matters and shit. Uh, yeah, I know this is made in January. I don't give a fuck because part of the January we're still fucking warm. No. They're doing it on purpose, and it is if you like, why, like, what's the point of you wearing that beanie? And you're wearing it all wrong. You're wearing it like the old kid and play shit. No one even tries doing that shit anymore unless they're gonna rob somebody. Are you robbing somebody? No. Stop it. The trend and shit. But that's what, what Keisha was doing. I'm not really sure. She says that he's a spiritual narcissist, which, trying to really think about what that means, I guess you could see, maybe, like, if he's talking about. He's like, he appears so calm, but he's actually maybe a paper tiger of spirituality or something. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm just making shit up. She said that his response videos were terrifying and ridiculous. His response videos to her were absolutely terrifying, absolutely ridiculous. And if you don't know how to spot spiritual narcissism, you can look at it and be like, oh, this dude is really loving and he really cares. Maybe it's terrifying because at one point- This is another chick who's mad that he wouldn't- he, he, she knows he won't sleep with her because like... Yeah, he has a girlfriend. But also, she's very opportun opportunistic. Because what is a spiritual narcissist? Like, human beings always gotta create categories and subcategories and families and familias and subs and sub subs. We always gotta keep dwindling down more and more until we have everything in a particular fucking box. And then we make boxes for those boxes because we don't think it's organized enough. It's, it's ridiculous. Like, stop. Stop. The universe does that enough as it is. Now you're trying to create layers for shit that, like, we already done made up, but we don't know if it's actually a thing or if it's just a behavior in human species. Um... But who knows? He calls this defamation and the possibility that Keisha has been slanderous, which is he provided receipts, like actual real receipts. She didn't. So I don't really, you know, I don't understand that, I guess. But the comments for her video are not on her side at all. She's just trying to expose the spiritual narcissism, whatever that is. Not being able to spot a spiritual narcissist mm -hmm. is a dangerous thing. This story contains spiritual narcissism spiritual psychosis and i want to talk about what is spiritual psychosis i swear to god if y'all don't listen to me and read the narcissist epidemic the book i be telling it's a gray and white book with like red stripes at the top and the bottom if you guys don't fucking go read that book you're not going to understand what any of this shit is and why the fuck it is all of this is bullshit it, like you don't need to be spiritual and like calling other people um physical beings names it's weird. Like, you're calling it spiritual narcissism because his hair is prettier than yours. Like, uh, it shut me down with that shit. It's crazy. Let's be clear. What makes Sam like a narcissist exactly? Because he, he, he didn't leave his girlfriend for some lady who just randomly found them on the talk of ticks? It's weird as fuck. Liz with witch talk, people would just hex each other. 
fucking weird. People are fucking weird. These people are weird anymore. And what is it not? It's another interesting mind-bending take here that just it's a complete new world. By the way, once again, no hate. <laughs> no bully or whatever, dude. It's just this is very I don't belong here. It's interesting to me. A lot of her comments are also vehemently on the side of Keisha. It's it's just weird. This fella named Chris has a pretty reasonable take that I liked. It was nice. You can only interfere with yourself. No one else can interfere. The drama that's on spiritual TikTok right now is really fascinating to me. Because what it's doing is it's highlighting this truth that not everybody knows. And the people that don't know it are basically open to being manipulated. That truth is what Bashar is talking about here. It's that no one can mess with you unless you agree. And it doesn't have to be a conscious agreement. It has to be a, a like, it's like an energetic agreement. It's like if someone scares you and, and scares you into believing that they're going to do something to you, then you're kind of agreeing that they can do something to you. Bro just f***ing read the 37th law of power or some shit. So he thinks it's like Keisha letting this happen because it's not physical. So it's not, I, I, I don't really, you know. It's, it's all just, in her head. Uh, it's There's also a head. lot of people, by the way, for head. the sake of all of us, uh, that think this whole thing is absurd. And I think this is probably the boat that most people are going to fall into. Yeah, it's amazing. It's really interesting. It's a really crazy story, crazy accusations. And now I can uh, I can be, I can do some harassment and bullying now after the video's over. I'm not going to do that in the video, but I'll do that as soon as this turns off. Just kidding. I don't do that. And I don't, you know, I, no, I'm not a part of organized crime. What else? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hopefully you guys like this video. I thought it was funny. All right, at the very least. Very nice. Very nice. So, as, as you can see, that's kind of an issue that I wanted to highlight. Um, there are people leading people, and they're easily led astray by whatever it is that they believe in their head. And, um, honestly, I'm not sure if they realize that. I'm not sure if they're really picking that up with their fucking brains and, and noticing this entirely. It seems as though um, people are objectively ignoring what they don't want to actually believe, which is um, they're not checking themselves. You know, th this bitch wants um, $333 for a an hour-long reading, and yet she can't consciously keep herself from lusting after a man who's already taken. You know, how strong is your spirit? Like, where's your discipline? You know what I mean? It's like, ugh. But that's what I'm talking And the retaliation in it all, because she never mentioned she texted this person telling him to leave her alone. She says, I'm not going on this retreat because you're still with your whoever. I don't even know if she would text him that. Just give me my money back or I'm going to expose you to everyone. She never mentioned sending him texts telling him that he was harassing her and that she's tired of this shit. Never once mentions that. Yet he has the tax. She doesn't show anything. She's just being like, it's in the spirit. Is that because of money or because she got rejected? Or maybe it's a mix of both. I don't know. But she definitely demonstrated why the fuck she does not help anybody. And she can't. It's just crazy how easy it was for her to get a... Uh, Well, invested in a man like that. Like she even said, I had just gotten done with a, with a, with a twin flame thing, and the fact that she mentions it tells me that she feels as though this is the same fucking thing. Because there's no reason to mention something unless it has something to do with what you're talking about, right? It's it's the rule in books, in writing, in video games, whatever you mention, it, it, it has to have some significance somewhere. So don't waste people's time mentioning weird shit and not actually telling them. Um, what the point is, right? And for me, it's... It's the fact that she wanted to equate this to another twin flame thing. It's the fact that, like, I, it feels like she was lonely or desperate. It's the fact that Zaddy said no. Which I, I appreciate Zaddy over daddy because lord knows I wouldn't want Monique's hug mm -mm, mm. like I know there are some people <clears throat> who are cool with what he's doing as a man saying that for his woman but nah especially after I saw those texts and what he said to um, that kid and I didn't see that until after 
I was done looking over their response to that child, man. Uh, and I know he's my age, but for them, that's their child, and I will refer to him as a child. But it's just like, after I read the text at that, that enough son, daddy, say, uncle man, sent the child? Uh-uh. No, he gotta go. He gotta go. Because he, it, it, like, it, it's one thing if this was just recent, but it, it's been all his life. No, the way that, mm-mm, mm-mm. I can see why it's gone, been three years since they seen each other, but that's beside the point. I don't even know why I brought that up. I actually does have nothing to do with anything. But uh, in this regard, understand there are people in the spiritual shit. They're not good people. There are people with a plethora of followers and a plethora of people who listen to them and all that shit, right? No hate to them. Get your uh, game, get your bag, get your dollar, get get whatever it is, fuck it is you need. Uh, but you need to watch some folk for a minute because, like, much like a few years ago, uh, people are going to demonstrate who they are and more than likely they're going to take something from you in order to do it. They're going to take something from you to uh, keep continuing to demonstrate that they have some sort of power. But... That's only if you fucking allow it, I guess. I don't know. But this is one of those things where it's just like, yeah, this is kind of stupid. This is a woman scorned. This is a woman mad that she doesn't have as many followers as a man. And that he wouldn't leave his girlfriend for her. That, to me, is the number one thing. Because she even says it, and she even referenced, you know, like, oh, I brought it up to him. But in real life, but he always is like, no, I'm not playing these games and shit. It's just like, what game is he playing, ma'am? If he told you no, you need to accept that hard no. I know a lot of people are like, actions speak louder than words, but like, if he wasn't even approaching you in the physical, and then like, he says the exact same thing physically with his goddamn, like, out of commission cocksucker we call the mouth, right? No. No means no. If he doesn't want you, he doesn't want you. Point, like, is simple. Just chill with it. That's all. Anyway, I'm going to go take a shower and get ready to do my diamond dots thing because I've been obsessively doing that. I've had a Valley Go one. I don't know where it's... I might put it up here. I might put it up there. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll put it on here. That way it's not too plain, because I do hate how plain this looks. And I don't want to put anything else up in the wall. Well, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But either way, I'll talk to you guys later. Y'all be safe. Safe, bitches. Bye-bye.